I'm Jane Means, gift wrapping style expert for WH Smith, and I'm gonna run through how to wrap those really big, awkward shapes. You often find that you haven't got enough paper to go around the complete item. So a great trick is to choose two contrasting papers that look good, really good together. And I've gone for a red and white theme. One of the long edges, I folded over about a centimeter and I've added double-sided tape all the way along that edge. I'm going to remove the tape so you have a sticky patch. This is the fun bit. I'm just getting the paper in position and I'm going to lower the sticky edge on top of the other panel of paper. Hover overhead until you get it straight. I've turned the paper over and one of the sides, I'm going to fold the paper under about one centimeter. I'm then going to add double-sided tape all the way along. I'm now going to grab the large object and place it onto the wrap. I'm going to grab the edge that I've added the tape on, bring it around. You're then going to remove your tape Stick the paper together and try and get that continual join. I'm now going to fold the sides. Push the paper down, crease the paper as you go along. It's quite important to get your hand or your fingers right into the edges. You then get both of the angles matching exactly the same. I'm going to start bringing in the two sides. If the sides are quite baggy, you may want to add an additional piece of tape and it can be double-sided or regular tape. And I'm just going to stick it in there. Don't worry about seeing the tape, this will all be hidden. What I'm going to do is lift the flap from the side and you can see two V's either side. And the objective is to fold in between those two V's right in the center of the V. So I'm going to do a very small fold mark where those two lines meet. The same again, the other side. I then look at those two fold marks and I'm going to actually fold the paper under. And hopefully what you should get is a really neat finish. You add your double-sided tape all the way along that edge and it's a good idea to actually measure your tape above and then you can just tear the exact amount that you need. I'm then going to peel my tape off and secure the sides. So straight away, we have a really obvious join. And for the best bit, I'm now going to add the ribbon and the trimmings. I've pre-measured my ribbon, so I've got enough to go around the box and cover the join. And I've also added some double-sided tape just at the end so I can stick it easily around the box. I'm laying the ribbon out, add the box onto the ribbon. You're then going to grab your ribbon, make sure it's enough to go around the box. You're then going to remove your double-sided tape and actually stick the ribbon to the box. I'm placing my gift tag in the centre and in this project, I'm going to use three bows, all varying sizes. So the larger of the bows, I'm going to stick over the tag. This is great because it will actually cover the join of the ribbon. And the other two remaining bows, I'm going to stick either side. And here is your large gift. Mm -hmm.